Hey guys, and welcome back to Divine Journey 2. And today, we're gonna find out the truth. But first of all, we've got a lot of crafting to do before we can unlock this key. And I've been doing a ton of preparation for this episode. This is gonna be quick, are you ready? So what you just saw there was several hours actually of crafting and gathering to take us back up to the point where we can progress. So last episode we did of course build our creative fluid tank. The next quest is to get the creative drum and all the materials should be in this chest. This also takes another creative RF source which is what took so long. <laughs> but there it is, the creative drum. So with the drum and the tank we have to turn this into the creative reservoir. So this does mean that we will have to give up our creative fluid tank. At least for now, we may end up building a second one after we have creative chest. So obviously we have the creative tank here, it's just that there's some extra NBT tags on this. And the craft for the reservoir requires only one tag. So apparently there is a fix coming for a divine journey for this specific issue with the NBT data. But for now I think we have to admin command this, and we'll remove this mech data, the display, and I think that's all we have to do. Let's see if this works. Hey, it works! <laughs> A creative reservoir. Alright, so next up is the creative blood drop from Evilcraft, which will give us infinite blood. However, we already have a black coal tank worth of this stuff. So I think I've already gathered all the materials for this. This is an elite craft this time. Oh, we're missing one blood tank for this. And now we can grab our next creative item, the blood drop. So next two are going to actually take another creative storage upgrade, which is another two energy condensers mark two. We need one for the creative medicine bag, and one for the creative component pouch here. Although right now I only have one, so I think it's going to take a few hours maybe <laughs> to get another one. We'll see. Alright, so after some crafting, actually two days worth of crafting, we have our energy condenser mark 2, which I think is going to be our last one. So in the last two days, I have been crafting up, uh, I think, the rest of the components that we need. There's still one or two items missing here, but let's continue with our quest line here to make the creative medicine bag. So we'll use the mark 2 to create the next storage upgrade. Then we craft that with four medicine bags and four charms of rainbow, which is very easy to craft actually. And this will give us the creative medicine bag. We can then combine that with a regular totemic staff, some taste of rainbow, and one piece of half nail, which is actually still crafting, I forgot about this one. <laughs> All right, so this then gets used for the activation crystal, along with two activation crystals, which I have crafted up here. Oh nice, some corrupted dragon tokens, those actually would have been useful <laughs> earlier on. I don't think we're going to need them at this point though. But yeah, next step is the sacrificial dagger. And we have almost everything prepared for this thing. Uh, looks like we're just missing this renium ingot. Alright, we got a recipe in for this, this should only take a minute to craft. And it looks like we're going really fast here, but <laughs> collecting all these items took, like, yeah, like I said, days to craft all this stuff. But after we have this, we then have to turn this into the blessed stone, which does require, I think it's 18 witches altars. Yeah, 18 witches altars, which <laughs> we can just auto craft at this point, but it did take a long time to craft this. All right, our renium ingot is just finished crafting, which gives us the sacrificial dagger. And this is gonna be a pretty simple upgrade now that we have the witches altars, that is. I think we're just waiting on some heaven extract crafting up. Oh, it looks like it's done actually. And we can craft this into the blessed stone. Wow, 16 chaos stabilizer cores. That's crazy. <laughs> That's some good rewards right there. All right, well, anyways, next up is the creative ME Essentia storage cell. That's a mouthful. <laughs> but I think I've got most of this stuff pre-crafted anyway. 
yeah, I did request four of these uh, 16384K cells. Let's see, we also need tennisine and Flerovium, which I have crafted. And Flerovium should also be in here. Four Essentia Infusion Providers. We got those. Four Thaumium Processors. Very easy. 16 Adhesive. I think we should have still. Oh, just enough. <laughs> we have just enough Adhesive for this. And I think that just leaves these 64k ME Essentia storage cells, which I did have to unlock in the Thalmanomicon here. But this just involved holding some Salus Mundus and I think some Quartz Glass. So we have one right now, we need another seven of these things. Which should all be sent to this shulker box right here. Alright, so that's 4k's. Oh, the lag. <laughs> this table doesn't like shift clicking. There's the 16k's. And we turn those into the 64k's. And they have to be the storage cell, not just the storage component. So let's do that. And this should let us craft the Essentia storage cell. Awesome. So next up is going to be the mana tablet and the mana pool. Although I didn't realize that we had to have these quests first. So I think to get the mana pool, it requires an infinity ingot, which we're actually not too far away from. We need to get the essence of time first though, which is just a plasma fire recipe with the previous three essences, which we got last episode. So I put in a pattern for this, let's request this one. And then this is going to be used with the Essence of Repetition. And I think we need another Essence of Matter, which is something we unlocked for Fusion, but we used that one up, of course. And to get another one, we are short the Essence of Order, which should be in this chest, or at least the materials for it. We have to first make another Peaceful Dimlet, Astro Craft this into the Essence of Peace once again, which we did have extra for. Remember, we got uh, 12 of these syringes. It's nice that all the hard work was already done. <laughs> then I think we have to fake craft this to give us our essence of order. And this is combined with the essence of destruction, which I didn't account for in the last two days of crafting actually. Although we do have the primal crusher, it's just that we need two essences of atomic fusion. And to get two of these things, we are missing, I think, just the TNT singularities. Oh, and Osgo glass. Uh, well, luckily we still have another energy condenser to fix that. But the TNT we have automated, so we can just throw this through the compressor. Let's see, we'll also need one more iron band. And it appears we have stopped making TNT for some reason. I mean, TNT production is something we set up way back. <laughs> uh, oh no, we're getting TNT, it's just, it's just a bit slow. Alright, I grabbed the rest of the TNT, let's sort out the next two atomic fusions. And we already have the ultimate singularity crafted for this. In fact, I think we may need a few more coming up here. But then other than that, it's just the Primo Crusher, some antimatter clusters, and Perditio Crystals. And the clusters we have all the hydrogen here for. Although this was supposed to be for later on. <laughs> this was actually accounting for this recipe for the Infinity Catalyst. So I requested up three more, which should be, yeah, this is the recipe here for it. This actually takes a long time because of fusion. A lot of waiting here in the late game. <laughs> oh, I wish this thing was faster. Yeah, for the most part, I've actually had a lot of fun automating Thomcraft, which is a mod I used to really dislike, actually. But the last two packs I've played, I've really come around to quite liking the mod. I'm just not sold on this multi block. <laughs> Especially since these only buffer 250. Although maybe things would be different if the mod pack didn't cost quite as much per recipe. But yeah, I find that we're waiting on this thing quite a lot here. Alright, there's three fusion crafting cores. For some reason we already had a fourth one, which should craft two of our atomic fusions. Which lets us craft the destruction catalyst. And we'll have to put in three antimatter clusters, the ultimate singularity, the essence of order. And we'll request our next essence of matter. And these are the final three essences that we need. These are the ones that we've been working towards to finally make our Essence of Infinity. It's getting exciting now, but <laughs> but we have to use Batania and 50 mana pools. So while I was crafting, I did notice that we need a huge amount of mana coming up here, so I, I added just a few more mana pools. So I'm not entirely sure how long this is going to take. Maybe we'll just point some more towards this one for this specific craft. And we'll put on the Essence of Repetition, Essence of Time, and Essence of Matter. And the progress bar hasn't even moved. <laughs> this is definitely going to... Okay, we need to upgrade these these spreaders. We need to get as much mana in here as possible. Oh, we have our first tiny green bar there. I don't know if you can see that, actually. Okay, so it's been about five minutes, and we have, I don't know, less than 10% progress. <laughs> so let's take some of these Gaia mana spreaders, actually. And we'll at least add another mana pool onto this side. 
All right, there we go. Let's make sure we put our lenses on. And we can add another on top here as well. Okay, that is a serious amount of mana we're giving this thing now. But still, this is going to take probably around half hour. 20 minutes, maybe. <laughs> Come on, Gaia Spreaders, you can do it. You can do it any second now. Wait a second. Where did it go? Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> it's our RME system. There's our quest. So now with the essence, we have to craft the Infinity Catalyst to then be able to make the Infinity Ingots. So this has to be in the Avarisha crafting table this time. Let's start laying out what we have already. So we've got our blocks of Neutronium. I think it's something like this. Blocks of the Ultimate. And then antimatter clusters go around the outsides. So now what we're missing for this craft is the ultimate stew and the endus pearls. And the endus pearls I did start crafting here. Although we're one ender IO singularity short. I think that should be crafted though. Yeah nice that's in our ME system. So yeah let's put all these together. The ender star we made last episode but I had to make up two more of these things. This will give us our two endus pearls. I think is also a quest. Awesome so that just leaves the two ultimate stews for this craft. And to make the ultimate stew, we have to make some tacos, some neutronium nuggets, and some neutronium burgers. Let's start with the burgers. So the burger is going to take some cheese of various forms, it looks like. Hold on, how do we get this? This is this one's probably the easiest since we have galactic craft cheese already. And then we shapeless craft that into the cheese slices. Then we can use that for our burger. Okay, so toast we can get just from shapeless crafting bread. And then what are we missing? Just cabbage? From cabbage seeds from the Erebus. Hmm. Do we have any of those? We have, wow, we have two, nice. <laughs> All right, there is some cabbages. Apparently this seed doesn't work though if you just right click. It only gives you the seed back. You have to actually break the crop. But that's okay, we only need like half a stack of these things, maybe less. We also need the tacos and then uh, some dough, which is just shapeless crafted from wheat. And the nuggets is flour and raw chicken in an alloy smelter. <laughs> All right, we got eight of each food. Now I think we have to throw these through the plasma fire to give us the cosmic meatballs. I remember these things from Enigmatica 2. It was a very different recipe there. But yeah, once we have the meatballs, we then have to make the ultimate stew from five witches cauldrons each. And I do have these crafted. I looked at this uh, yesterday actually. <laughs> and these cauldrons do take a while because of all the alchemical constructs. But let's first of all request up the meatballs that we need. So we need eight of these total. And once these are crafted, we want to make sure we pick these up for the quest. It would be very tragic if we if we miss this one quest here. In fact, let's just claim the rewards. Not that we really need them at this point. So as I'm waiting for these meatballs here, I'm just looking ahead at a couple of the other recipes that we need to finish out this chapter. So once we have our infinity ingot, we have to craft this into the tablet, which we should have all the materials for. Although after that is the creative mana pool, which requires an neutronium singularity. And these singularities are also used in the creative chest recipe. So that means coming up here we need 3,000 blocks of Neutronium and um, we have 956. <laughs> so we're like 2,000 short. This doesn't take into account these Neutronium ingots that we have here from the Neutron Collector but this is like peanuts. This is nothing. <laughs> so this is, a, this is a very big problem actually. I think for sure we're going to need another Neutronium Crux and we're missing salt. Okay. Um, yeah, I think for sure we're going to need another Crux to level the seeds up. As seeds are def definitely going to be our best bet for getting Neutronium. And why are we out of salt? You know what, I think this is a lack of brine production. Even though this buffer is full, we just don't produce enough from this evaporation controller. And the brine has to be rotary concentrated into gaseous brine and then chemical crystallized into salt. But since we only need a tiny bit, we can just fix this with the EMC. <laughs> but yeah, on to the more pressing issue of these Neutronium singularities. So that salt should allow us to make another crux. And our last three cosmic meatballs have finished crafted. We'll pick these up for the quest. Make these into our stews. There's one and stew number two. And this should complete our craft for the infinity catalysts. Ah, nice. <laughs> and I think we only have to do this once. It does give us three. So now these are going to go through the crucible here from Thomcraft. I'm only going to do one of these at a time though. And this also does take a lot of Essentia, which we should have buffered here though. So we can lay out the craft for the creative mana pool here. We are just waiting on the infinity and get crafting. Oh wait a sec, this goes on the on the bottom side here. And once we have that crux crafted, I think it's also about time we invest in the seed analyzer. This is 
something we should have got back when we unlocked Astral Sorcery, actually. And this thing is going to allow us to see the stats on our seeds more easily. It's also a quest, so, you know, we need it anyway. <laughs> Wait a second, is it not a quest? Oh, it is a quest down here, but we also need the journal, the trowel, and the clipper. And look at what else has just arrived in our ME system. Our infinity ingot. All the cosmic wonders. <laughs> and 64 chaos stabilizer cores. Man, I wish we got these earlier on. Oh, nice. This also gives us 64 ultimate singularities. And 64 neutronium. Yeah, we could do with a bit more of that, please. <laughs> Anyways, we can fill in this craft for the creative mana pool. Actually, you know what? Let's make sure we storage draw the infinity ingot first. And I did miss a couple of the creative items on this drawer wall. I hope I don't regret that, actually. <laughs> but yeah, there is our creative mana tablet. Which unlocks the mana pool. And I think, we, yeah, again, we've got everything except for these Neutronium Singularities. Actually, that's technically not true. We need uh, four Nature's Blessings for this, which is basically one of each Batania rune, plus some overgrowth seeds, and a full mana pool. So this I'm just going to do manually, since we only need four of. And yeah, since this is only one mana pool, this will take significantly less time than the other crafter. Alright, this is not looking too bad, but our Neutronium situation needs sorted. <laughs> so let's do that, actually. Okay, we got one of the extra cruxes here for Neutronium. And from what I can tell here, there's actually no way to level these just with the two cruxes. I've tried like every configuration of this and it only works if we keep moving these things back and forward. Yeah, like when we're in this configuration here with the Neutronium crux on the left and right, we want it to mutate to the middle slot. I think I'm going to just have to keep moving this crux along. Watch when we move this, it's going to mutate to the middle with a chance of increased stats, of course. There we are. Yeah, and even switch to 8 there. But yeah, for some, apparently it is possible just with the two of them. But I can't get it to work, so um, yeah, this is going to be a manual process. Oh, and you know what, actually, I was looking ahead even further at the creative chest recipe. The creative component pouch, we only need one for the quest. So I only built another two Mark II condensers. However, the creative component pouch is used four times in the creative chest. One in each corner here. <laughs> so we need another two energy condenser Mark IIs. And another two Essences of Order. Although this time we are out of uh, Peaceful Dimlets. So we're going to have to raid RF Tools again. Let's encode the AE2 pattern for the Energy Condenser. So that it's not just in the Package Auto recipe. And this way we can directly request the Mark IIs. Okay, so to get the required uh, condensers that we need, it's going to be 23 million bytes. You know, just just a casual 23, mil <laughs> 23 million bytes. I mean, yeah, a lot of this is just buffers to fill. Corrupted Draconium will have to address. Uh, Salus Mundus should just be a buffer. Sonic Quartz is a buffer. Remember, we did get those stabilizer cores from the quest reward there, which should help us out quite a bit with this, although we're still missing 200 rainbow tablets for this. Uh, Mob Grindium, Zinc Oxide. Oh, that is a lot of strength and catalysts. Yeah, this is so many materials. <laughs> oh man, I don't know if we can get this today even. Well, I think we'll split it up into two Mark 1s at a time. Oh, even this we can't. Signalum, okay. I think the most we can request right now is one energy condenser mark one, which in and of itself is five million bytes. I don't understand how this is five million. It never used to be like this, did it? <laughs> okay, let's do this.
Alright, so it's been a couple of hours of crafting these uh, alchemical chests again. <laughs> uh, energy condensers, oh man. And we're currently at about 1200 neutronium blocks. We have uh, 1000 in these recipe packages. So I encoded the recipe for the singularity, although it may be behind some big queue here. <laughs> We have some more singularities being crafted at the moment, but wow, these these last three hours, like I have not stopped increasing buffers, and I went to Mars for like an hour maybe. <laughs> but I made sure to grab a huge batch of rainbow tablets, which should last us at least two creative chest. I increased the buffers on solar ingots quite a lot. Uh, I've EMC'd quite a lot of items with their existing energy condenser Mark II, so I refilled buffers on things like demonic will on uh, demon lord ingots for mob grindium. Osgo glass was something else we were low on. I also stopped the Hellfire Forges for Void Reagents, as we have 41,000 of these, and it costs around 1,500 per Mark 1 chest, so <laughs> I think we have more than enough of this, and this will allow us to save some Mob Grandium ingots. Our buffers for Tenebrae have now emptied, which is not ideal to be honest, but we can move the watch back here. We do have quite a big buffer of Tenebrae, and the Catalysts are slowly going back up again. But at least all of these tier 1s, like the Incendium we have 70,000 of, Terra we have 131,000 of. So yeah, it's mostly just the Tenebrae, which, I mean, it costs around 6,000 Tenebrae, I think, for every alchemical chest. And then, of course, we're just waiting on Fusion and, well, this Fusion and Draconic Fusion is the two biggest bottlenecks at the moment. But anyways, we have our Neutronium Singularity, which should allow us to craft our Mana Pool. And so all that's left now is the creative chest, and when I say all that's left, <laughs> this is still a huge undertaking we have to go through here. Um, so we'll need one creative component pouch to finish out this quest. So I have the materials besides the, the storage component actually, although I'd rather not give up this Mark II right now. I think we're going to keep this just in case we have to use it while we're crafting up the rest of those. So let's actually hold off on, on crafting this. And uh, oh, it looks like we've got an ener another energy condenser ready. But again, this is just the Mark 1. But at this point, let's start laying out our creative chest recipe. So right now, I think this is our current progress for creative chest. We almost have, actually, we almost have the essences of enclosement. This is the cardboard boxes. And we have 400 of 600 right now. So, I mean, I guess we can fill this out. Okay, there's three so far. So the infinity ingot we also have. We just have to put this through the crucible. The essences of order we have, except for this peaceful dimlet, which we'll have to go back to RF tools for. The creative bookcases, I... Th no, we actually, no, we don't have corruption cores for these. Oh, we do have corruption. Oh, I'm... That's right, I ordered these uh, ahead of time. <laughs> okay, that, that makes me very happy, actually. So we just need some Taste of Rainbows, some Oak bookshelves, and Dungeon bookshelves. Looks like we have all we need already. Let's get these crafted up again. Alright, that fills out even more. Let's now work on the Kikoku, I guess. So we got our uh, Qatar last episode, I think it was. The morning side we'll have to make another one of. I forget exactly where- okay, we have up to titanium. We have to go through the wyvern and then the draconic again, <laughs> okay. You know what, I'll do that in a second, but for the kikoku we also need the opinium cores, which in this pack are quite different to Omni Factory. actually. We need two more essences of atomic fusion. The inspired tier is made from infused diamonds and nether stars, then dragon eggs and infused diamonds, red matter, blocks of emerald, blocks of diamond, blocks of gold, and at the bottom is dark matter. Okay, this is going to be a lot of dark matter, actually. Also, I th it's about time we actually mute this thing. <laughs> I can't stand this anymore. Ah, that's better. Okay, I think I got all the recipes for the Opinium cores. Let's see the damage on this dark matter number. And we need two perfected. A million and a half bites. <laughs> okay, we're missing some permutatio, which we can get from slivers. Uh, the TNT singularities, red matter blocks, we're missing a recipe for. And the Dark Matter, I think we're just short 191? Yeah, that's not- that's actually not bad. Although somehow we're out of Sunny Quartz to make slivers. Uh, I think it's just the speed of this Fluid Transposer though. And we'll put some of these slivers through for Permutatio. I think it was 300 it said it was missing, but we'll just do 400. Let's finish off these cardboard boxes now that they've crafted for the Essences of Enclosement. And then after that we can throw in the TNT. Oh wait a second, we're 45 short here. How did that happen? Oh, it's not finished crap. <laughs> I thought I'd finish crafting, okay. But once we have creative chest, there is actually a substantial amount of content in the pack left to do. So I think actually there's going to be probably another two or three episodes of Divine Journey left. But yeah, at this point we're just basically waiting on crafting. There's one TNT singularity. 
Although, you know, looking at this ultimate crafting, it's not too bad progress. I wonder how our neutronium uh, supplies are doing right now. Okay, 340 blocks. I don't think we'll need to increase production anymore since we'll be waiting so long for these energy condensers. And one other thing I'm not really sure how to fix is with this laser focus. Because we passive these plasma cores in here, we have a level limiter set to export the empty cores to make plasma cores. However, this is also used for other recipes here on demand. But because the plasma cores cost less mechanism energy, those are always consumed first. And because we have the level limiter set quite high at 4000 plasma cores, we're almost always below 4000 whenever we're crafting something big. So since I don't think you can put multiple inputs on these machines, the only solution I believe is to build another one. Although we're so close to the end of the pack that I don't think that's going to be worth doing. <laughs> I mean like we're only a couple of items before chest so I've just basically been turning this off to let this craft the one or two items that it needs to craft and then turning the level emitter back on. So yeah probably something we should have looked at earlier to uh, build a second one of these things. Perhaps after we unlocked EMC but I feel it's a bit late now. Let's also do these tools while the alchemical chest is finishing up. That should free up the big uh, 82 CPU to be able to craft the items required to upgrade these to Draconic. So we need two Draconic pickaxes, one for the hammer and one for the pick. And one more Draconic shovel. Which again is going to take a while, so I mean I guess while we're waiting on all this crafting again, let's go back to RF tools to see if we can find two more of these peaceful dimlets. Yeah, we need these dimlet controllers still. Hopefully we can get just as lucky as last time as well. Well, I don't know if I would consider that lucky. I mean, it was still over an hour and 15 minutes in there. <laughs> Hopefully we're less than that this time though. Oh, we got it. <laughs> this is actually our second. And it took, I think, two hours and 15 this time. Near enough two and a half hours, actually. I've been back to base a few times. Let me show you guys this. Look at how many dimlets we've got. So this is one chest, two chest, <laughs> three chest, four chest, five chest, technically six chest with this looting backpack. I mean, I've been through so many RF tools huts. <laughs> wow. Is it silly that those things don't have a crafting recipe? A little bit. I mean, you can craft the random dimlets, but it's only a random chance still. All right, so we need to make up two more piece essence. This will let us craft our dimlets. There's two more of those, hopefully the last two, if I counted right. <laughs> then we combine those again in the Fae Crafter. Or, no, wait a second, it's the iridescent altar first for the essence of peace. Yeah, Astro Craft is first, then we Fae Craft. And that lets us fill in two more pieces of this puzzle. So while I was in the RF Tools dimension, I did also get our perfected Opinium Cores crafted. And the tools also finished crafting, which means I think we can craft our Morningstar. No, we can't. <laughs> what are we missing still? Oh, it's just NBT data, I think, on the, on the recipes. I think that's probably what it is. Yeah, we got the hammer, the pickaxe, the shovel we have to turn into dark matter, then red matter. We're missing one piece. <laughs> of course we are. Okay, there's our red matter shovel. Then we can craft our second morning star. And the guitar we already have. So it's just a piece of white matter in the middle. Do we even have... Yeah, we have white matter. We have loads of white matter. And the two perfected opinion cores. To give us... Wait a sec, wait a sec, wait a sec. <laughs> Before we do that, let's check the prerequisite quests. Okay, no, we're good. We're good. Ikikoku, I think is how you pronounce this. But we just need it for our creative chest here. So we're missing the other infinity ingot, which we have here. So yeah, that leaves us with two neutronium singularities. We can almost get one more. We're almost at 900 blocks. We need a thousand per singularity. And then the most expensive part of all of this, uh, <laughs> the creative component pouches. So I believe actually we've got another Mark II recipe package finished. Yeah, this, this finished up while I was in RF Tools. Let's craft our second Mark II. And this one I guess we can... Yeah, I guess we can make our next storage upgrade. The Infinity storage upgrade. 
since we already have a energy condenser mark 2 below us and you know what i'm also going to draw this storage upgrade the item itself and not apply it to the drawer i mean so to do that i think we can just unlock this drawer and then put this inside a hopper for it to be placed inside as the item itself so yeah then with this we can make our first creative component pouch hopefully unlock our quest here oh and i just realized we get three penultimate machine frames for the kikoku that's going to be handy so yeah, look at this. We're missing two quests now for the creative chapter. Two quests. <laughs> I don't think we're going to get this today either, unfortunately. I mean, yeah, I did say I didn't want to be in a situation where we're waiting on alchemical chests. And, um, well, here we are. <laughs> so um, it's just the way that it is, really. I'm sorry we can't get to the end of this chapter today. But I, I really want to get this video out. And it means that next time will be even more epic. As uh, hopefully we'll be able to get the infinity and play with chapter 30 which has some interesting puzzles, I'm told. And then after that, I was thinking about doing maybe a live stream to get the rest of these quests, although I'm not sure exactly how long that would take. But yeah, I think we're going to wrap things up here. I'll try to get the rest, well, I will get the rest of these alchemical chests crafted before next episode. But such is the end game grind of packs. This is the way it is. <laughs> I've increased buffers pretty much as much as we can. So right now, we just have to wait on resources, more or less. That's all we have left to do. I did try to finish up some more of the building as well, so I got this room capped off. And so the base is pretty much at a point where I can leave it for the end of the series. At least most of the things anyway. But yeah, there's not much else to do right now, uh, so <laughs> we're going to wrap things up here. So thank you again for watching, and I'll see you all very soon for some more Divine Journey 2.